distancing, doing some marine operations. Early next week, it's expected to dock at the port of San Francisco to get provisions. It's not clear where the ship's going to go after that. So many businesses forced to close because of the, of the pandemic, like San Francisco's Aquarium of the Bay at Pier 39. It is closed to the public, but still has 24,000 mouths to feed. That's the number of marine animals in the aquarium. Joining us now is George Jacob, president and CEO of the Bay Ecotarium that oversees the aquarium. Mr. Jacob, you've had to reduce staff, but you still have work to do. Tell us about the situation the aquarium is in right now. Well, once the uh, city went into shelter in place, we had to furlough nearly 70% of our staff. Uh, but we managed to keep the core team uh, together uh, to take care of the animals. Like you mentioned, we have 186 species, 24,000 animals. Uh, so it's a three-shift operation, runs 24-7. And uh, we've been doing fairly well and taking care of our, uh, our mission here. So what you need, to be flat out about it, is money. And you have a GoFundMe page set up to help. How much do you need? How much have you raised? Well, the GoFundMe is a, uh, a smaller effort, um, which has a $500,000 target, and which is slowly showing signs of increase. Um, but primarily, we need funds to bring back our furlough teams, our staff. Uh, we need education, animal care, and some of our welfare teams. That's that's the ultimate goal to bring back uh, most of our fellow staff. Okay, and uh, taking it to the absolute worst case scenario, what if you don't raise enough money? Uh, what what might happen to the marine animals, the sharks, the octopus, the the bat rays? What happens to them? Well, we are fairly well prepared with uh, some contingency measures, so they are safe and we are prepared for the long haul. So I think we don't have to fear much about. Uh, that situation never happened. But still, resources are tight, and all help from the community is welcome. It's got to be heartening for you. So many people hearing about the situation, volunteering to help out, even if that's not what you really need right now, is, is it's got to feel good to know the community is behind you and your efforts to uh, keep these uh, keep things going. Indeed. I mean, we've always relied on volunteer divers in our tanks, and that number and uh, that interest has actually gone up since so shelter in place, with more people calling to ask if they could dive in our tanks. Uh, for now, uh, we are keeping this area pretty much hermetically sealed, and uh, we thank the volunteers who have offered to help. And uh, you know, after the shelter in place lifts, we'll probably use their help. But for now, we have our core team in place that's been feeding the sharks and taking care of the tanks. All right, George Jacob, thank you very much for joining us. Indeed. Thank you. All right. Well, just like you, this outbreak has created a new normal for us here at KMTV. Our own Garvin Thomas sent us this picture of his 